Okay, guys, so once you get your sleeve in, you can literally just make sure that there's a little bit of oil. I'm going to pretend to do this, because I already did it. Slide it on, slip it around, then push it down. Then there's a groove, make sure it lines up with the other, with this little pin side. Hold on, let me zoom into that. Right there. Make sure those grooves align. Then you're going to want to put some oil around in here. Move it around with your finger. Make sure your fingers have no hair on it or else you could have some issues there. Then hold this ring and spin it around. Make sure that all the oil is coating inside. You could also put a little bit on the exhaust port. Move it up and down. Get it all over the piston. Make sure your piston is working healthy which it should and as you could see this piston looks brand new it's actually a used piston it's got less it's about a little over a, a gallon and a half through it so next thing to do is now you can put your back plate which is this make sure that this little groove is fit is up on the top make sure your your o-ring is oiled everything is oiled in there Slip that on. Next thing to do is tighten these bolts down. Now don't tighten them too snug because you won't be able to get them off the next time you undo the engine. Me and Damien almost had I almost had that issue. I had to heat the whole head up with the stove. And if you strip one of these in your engine, you could have some major issues. So just tighten them until they're snug. First you could start them with your hands. I've got a back plate, um, a sensor, or a, uh, a ground on my engine, so I'm not going to tighten them all the way just yet, but just a little bit, and I'll show you how much to do, just for safety, since there's an o-ring. So take the tool, your 2.5, it stops, and then a little bit, a little snug, nothing hard. Screw it till it's, till it stops. A little snug. Screw it till it stops. Tad it's a little snug. Screw it till it stops. Tad a little snug. Okay, so that's that part. Next thing is to put on your head. All up to you how you want to put the align. Or actually, no, it isn't all up to you. There's a little groove in here. That should line up with the groove. That is also in there. So we're going to put that just like so. As you see, I use lots of oil. Make sure that all these parts don't rust while they're sitting. And you have less issues. Because whenever you're rinsing stuff with water, you want to make sure that you've got an oil or something that's not going to let it rust after it's out of the water. And make sure you spray it thoroughly down. So first we're going to pop all these screws in the head. Remember, it's just going to be like if you've ever done wheels on a car, you're going to want to do this in a star formation. There's six of these screws. So, put all these screws in. Just like so. Okay. Now we're going to tighten them. You don't want to do this in like a star, like I said. Or don't tighten them all till the end. So just do it till it stops. Don't even attempt to tighten. Just do across from each other. So I'm just doing these two. Now we're going to do these two across from each other. Just want to get these down so it holds the engine head so that. The engine head sits nice and equally. Once you've got that, you can give each bolt a little snug just to make sure it doesn't come loose. 
nothing tight like I said. I'm just using my hand because it's a little bit oily. And that's how you reinstall your put put back together your engine. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if uh, there's a couple delays, but uh, there's the engine. I'll put back together and it should run like new. Check out the videos of the 700 with this engine in it. Great engine, runs perfectly, and you'll be seeing this in my upcoming competitions. And also remember to put a little oil on your right on the slide on your carburetor slide. Just let that oil, and you're done. Thanks for watching, guys.